Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John from Music Bliss. In this video, we will gonna give you a comparison if these two models are D2000 from Roland and also the Korg Grand Stage. So we will give you a bit of our opinion, our humble opinion, and also the comparison for you, and let you decide which model is right for you. Right, first thing we're gonna look at the layout of the RD2000. So very straightforward. Now here, this is a browser. There you can see the information in your keyboard. And this is the bank that for your different category of the, of the sound. And this is all the very important extra function that you, we, I will talk later that as Grand Stage doesn't have. This is the zone. Also, you can uh, do your layer of your sound and also the control the volume. You can control the other other features and effects of a sound. And this is uh, to modify your sound. All right. So I'm not going to actually go to tone all one by one, but I will get straight to the point to get you to what is the difference of a grand stage. Okay. All right. So the most important thing is always being the grand piano sound. The piano sound you're gonna be. All right. <laughs> So what do you think about the piano sound? Okay, All right. So there is a lot more sound you can actually discover for a different mode, and you, it is uh, some something that you need to discover. Okay. All right. So grand stage, and compared to RD two thousand, there's a lot of things it's actually it's not there. All right. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is the in this piano you can design the piano sound that you like. In Roland, they have a, have a technology is called V Piano. So they call it the Tone Designer. Where inside right here, after I press the button right here called Tone Designer, you will see a Piano Designer. When you press Enter, you will see a lot of the details of the, of the that you can found in the upright piano or grand piano. For example, hammer noise, duplex scale, key of a resonance to modify the sound that you like. Okay, alright. So you also can do. The individual voicing for to stimulate the sound light to realism, realism, the analog acoustic piano, piano sound that you prefer. So this is something that very, that is very important if you are the pianist that are looking for one digital piano that can stimulate the real piano sound for your is either for classical or maybe for jazz. In the in the RD two thousand, there is one thing is called program. So in a program mode, you can you will see a lot of uh, bang different here is already provided by Roland like solo jazz and grand piano sound. All right. All right. So this is called contemporary uh, concerto piano sound, and this uh, this allow you to actually add in more sound into uh, into your playing. For example, if we turn it on here, right here, we got another the second sound right here called 1975. You will hear a little bit YB sound right here. And we can add on the third sound right here, which is called a vibraphone. Or if we got the acoustic bass right here. Right. 
So this is, this is program mode. It also stands for that you can edit the sound that you want to layer up. It is the thing that you, uh, you need to know if you want to add in more layers of your sound. So next, in here, the extra function right here, we have had some little six buttons right here. We will see something called the rhythm. What does the rhythm stand for? You will first, you will get a built-in metronome right there. And also you will get a bit of, uh, of the drum beat. All right, this is something that the Grand Stage doesn't have. Okay, so Grand Stage also this is one of the things which is very important. The Grand Stage doesn't have this section of the egg, egg, uh, egg fader right here. If you like to do a lot of programming or editing and control of a different layer of the sound, this is something that you will really necessary to have. And this is the part also give you egg knobs to, to modify your sound. Also, is it is an advantage to having a AD2000 over the grand stage. All right, now we have a called grand stage 88 keys. It's also available in 73 key. All right, so the first thing you see in the in the layout is look very different compared to AD2000. It's very simple to un under simple to understand, and this is the favorite bang. This is the first sound, and this is the second sound, and here we got the effects. And also we got the EQ dynamic. That's all. Very straightforward. Very easy to use. When we press here, the keyboard sound right here, you were able to choose the sound here, and also the variation, different variation, the leveling of the sound, the the volume of the sound. Secondly, when you turn it on, you will get the second sound. Right. So without that. So we'll do it again. So for example, maybe we just want to combine the sound, uh, the pet sound. All right, how about bell? All right. Very straightforward. And there you also got a different variation, same as the, same as the first sound. And this is the EQ. You will when you when you do change the EQ when you turn it on you will you will change the the lows the mid the high of the sound. So I just give you an example. Right. It's very easy to actually change the sound by the EQ itself to make it make your music playing a bit more musical and you can actually do this by the assembler. Of course, we got a lot of uh, like effects right here then you will have the reverb, spring, delays and a lot of the thing that with uh, that control right here. Let's, uh, let's not forget to mention you can save your favorite uh, favorite sound into the bank. Like A, B, C, D, C, D here, right here, you will see 1, 2, 3, 4. So, Number one is grand stage, and maybe the next one is the piano. Another piano sound. You got the EP sound. Right, right. That is all about. So, but there is a few things that uh, that in this piano it doesn't have compared to the RD two thousand. The first thing is the eight layer, eight fader, uh, fader zone, and also you control the the different uh, the parameter of the effects, and also it doesn't have a lot of uh, other piano design. So it is the simple, simpler version of the stage piano. Here I'm gonna give you a bit of summary that what I what I'm thinking and it is my opinion. I feel the RD two thousand that is uh, give you give you more warmer sound, more authentic sound, 
and also more pet choice. And the uh, uh, called grand stage, it sounds a uh, reversely, it sounds a bit more modern, sounds a bit more brighter, and also give a, a, some of the piano sound is actually amazing on this and uh, this grand stage anyway. So number two, the biggest difference of these two models is the flexibility on programming. RD2000 is low a bit more complex and also it gives you more depth and more more uh, choices to edit the sound that you like. It up to eight layers and a lot of uh, buttons right there. You got the like the bigger and bigger browser screen and also you have uh, like a lot more functions compared to a grand stage. Where grand stage is more straightforward, very easy to use. When you actually sit on, if I'm not a, I'm not a keyboardist, maybe I just sit on here and then I immediately I understand what is it going on. So this is the difference. If you are a a uh, keyboardist or pianist that actually looking for more choices in editing the sound that you like, go for RD2000. If you feel like, okay, maybe you are in a church, in the church there is a lot of the different pianists doesn't come from a keyboard background, they're just uh, maybe just use a piano and pad sound, want something to easy to use, go for grand stage. However, of course you can also go for RD2000, but you will probably having a little bit of the difficulty to actually teach your keyboardist to learn to use the keyboard. Um, yeah, Grand Stage will come along with a 73 keys version as I mentioned earlier and also an 88 keys version. All right? So RD2000 is only having an 88 keys version, so it's a big one. There is one more thing which is the very important, is the key touch. The key touch on the RD2000 compared to the Grand Stage, I personally like PH and PHA50 because it gives you more depth on the playing when I play on the RD2000. So Grand Stage will feel a little bit more uh, more lighter. So it's, it's up to you. You have to try one to actually get, uh, get the feel, the light you want. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the Music Bliss and hit the notification bell for latest video. Thank you for watching, I will see you on the next one.